I'm getting this afternoon on this bright sunny day here at Chepstow but with the ground very much on the soft side. Let's check the field. One is silver by nature, Peter Buchanan, second last year silver by nature. Number two is a dream alliance, last year's winner. 20 to 1 chance this year, Tom O'Brien. Three is synchronised, AP McCoy's right. He's never won the race before, 9 to 2 favourite. Four is Watamu Bay, you've just seen Ryan Mann, he claims the five. Won't get paid if he wins. He's an amateur. Five is Exmoor Ranger, Dennis O'Regan. Take out six. Seven, Arbor Supreme. A second runner in the race for J.P. McManus. Wears a quartered cap, Richie McClernan. Eight is Dance Island, Charlie Post. Nine is Bally Foy, Matty Batchelor. Number ten, Mac Two, is Michael Murphy claiming the three. Eleven, Bally Fitz, David England. Twelve is I'm on cloud nine, Dougie Costello. Thirteen is Giles Cross, Harry Skelton. 14, Royal Rosa, Brian Hughes. 15, Magic Sky, Jake Greenall claiming the seven. 16 is Bench Warrant, Peter Toole claiming three. Down to 17, flight leader, Aidan Coleman. Take out 18. 19 is Dashing George, Liam Treadwell. And number 20 is Old Benny, Wayne Hutchinson. And these very, very experienced horses have been around for a long, long time. They uh, are on their toes. Uh, not so much as some of their riders, though. They're anxious to get a very good position early, even in a race as long as this. They're coming in now. No, they're just uh, coming in a little too quickly, I think, here for the starters' liking. Simon McNeil, he's just uh, climbing the rostrum. A man of great experience himself as a rider, of course, famous for his exploits aboard Catabatic, who was a Queen Mother champion chase winner. Let's have a look and see how the band they are ready. And they're off and running, setting off now on this three miles, five and a half furlong journey uh, for the Coral Welsh National. And a Giles Cross shows out in the lead from Valley Fitz in the early stages. Up there too is Bench Warrant, followed then by a Mon Cloud Nine. So they charge to the first corner. The grey is silver by nature, and then Mac Two's out deeper on the track. But Giles Cross starting to cart them uphill. Mac Two in about seventh position early, trapped a little bit wide. Followed then by Royal Rosa and Dream Island on the inside. Right there in the centre is synchronised in company there with Arbor Supreme, who's right up there in a handy posse. Old Benny's trapped a little bit wide. Last year's winner, Dream Alliance, just in behind runners, followed by Watamu Bay as they swing into the back now and straighten up towards fence number one. First of 22 coming up as they head now towards it. A very, very bunched field and Giles Cross led over it. And they're all over safely from up in second, Bench Warrant. Out wider then is uh, at this stage, Bally Fitz as they draw to the first of the open ditches. I'm on cloud nine just behind them. Mac two jumped it beautifully on the outside. The white cap up in about fourth position. Just behind them as they come to the third is Dance Island, followed then by Silver by Nature, and then Flight Leader and the Orange Jack at the centre. Old Benny is further back from Watamu Bay and Royal Rose Sarava Supreme. Then Dashing George on the inside as they head now towards the fourth. Another a plain one there. Magic Sky back in the field. Valley Foy giving them a start. So too at this stage is Exmoor Ranger. And uh, getting reminders already is Dream Alliance, last year's winner. He's been badly out of form. In fact, he hasn't completed the course in a race since his win last year. So over the fifth, and they're all over safely. So they head down the back now. And still another one to be jumped on the far side of the course. Giles Cross in the centre is the leader to it from Valley Fitz and Mac 2 out wider, jumping up into second. Then just behind them, I'm on cloud nine from Bench Warrant, synchronised as out wider, followed further back then by Old Benny, who's right there in the centre and very handy. They're followed then by Dance Island on the inside, Royal Roaster and Flight leader are there in the centre, followed then by Watamu Bay, who travels on the inside of Exmoor Ranger, and in the centre is the grey, that's uh, Silver by Nature, Valley Foy and Dashing George giving them a start, and two lengths away is Dream Alliance, who seems to be travelling a bit better now. So, 
though it's Giles Cross the leader with Belly Fitz and I'm on cloud nine holding the rail. Pace is pretty generous. Mac 2 is out wider. Uh, then Bench Warrant behind them from in the centre the orange jacket of flight leader. Then on the inside is Dan Silent. Old Benny is out wider. Mac 2 is still there. The white face and the white cap going particularly well for Michael Murphy as they come to the seventh. Further back in the field, Silver by Nature and Watamu Bay the inside from Royal Roaster and Magic Sky who's out deeper on the track. Behind them is Arbor Supreme, Bally Foy as they come to the next from Expo Ranger. Uh, they're followed by Dashing George as they go over that open ditch and uh, well back still is Dream Alliance. But as they head up the home straight now towards the ninth, it's Giles Cross on the inside of Mac 2 and there is Bally Fitz is still there as they head towards the ninth now. They take off the leaders, Mac 2 still travelling particularly well. Just behind them, Bench Warren, followed next in the field by Flight Leader. Then on the inside is Dance Island. As they come to the next open, uh, the next uh, plane fence. Followed next in the field by Old uh, Benny on the outside. Silver by Nature and synchronised in about 10th position. As they come to the 11th, this is the last next time round. As they clear that one, further back in the field then on the inside is Watermoor Bay. But with a circuit to go, synchronised AP McCoy up in about 10th position the outside. Richard Dunwoody, what do you think of him? Yes, Jim, he's, um, he's travelling and he's jumping a lot better than he did in the Midlands National. Certainly AP's just got him plenty of light and uh, he must be quite happy with him at the moment. Mac 2 has just run a little bit keen and uh, that might stand against him. Certainly would could stand against him at the end of uh, three mile, five and a half on very, very soft ground. Bally Fitz is also uh, popping away very handy. He's jumping quite well. I have to say Dream Alliance is not, not enjoying it uh, at all at the moment. So they race uphill now. They're at the halfway point of the Coral Welsh National of 2011. Postponed, of course, from Christmas 2010. Heading towards the back now. Giles Cross in the centre from on, on Cloud 9 and Belly Fitz and out deep on the track, the white cap of Mac 2. And as Richard said, has been very keen for the first circuit and still showing no signs of actually settling down as they head towards the 12th. Bally fits behind them with Magic Sky has made a place or two. I'm on cloud nine, blue sleeves and cap on the right. Just behind them as they come to the third open ditch at this stage, Bench Warren, followed by Flight Leader. Dance Island the inside, synchronised still about seven lengths off the pace. Six, silver by Nature is further back as they head over the 13th. Uh, 14th, I should say. Old Benny further back in the field. Exmoor Ranger coming into it. Followed then by Dashing George and Arbor Supreme and Watamu Bay a long way from the leaders. And that leader over the 15th is Giles Cross. Leads by a couple of lengths. They're all over that one. All 18 are still standing as they head over the far side of the course with seven left to jump in the Welsh National. And Giles Cross on the inside of Mac 2. They're almost stride for stride over that from Bally Fitz. Further back in the field then at this stage out wide is synchronised, preceded by flight leader who the rank outside are running a big race from Bench Warrant as they head towards the next one down the back, that's six out Dan Silent is further back Dream Alliance has been pulled up so it's Giles, uh, Giles Cross the leader, Royal Roaster tailed off as they head down the back now and a long run before they enter the home straight up in second, Mac 2, he's been keen all the way. A length and a half to synchronise. Followed in the centre by flight uh, leader. Then on the inside is Amon Cloud 9. Dance Island coming into it. Then Silver by Nature, preceded by Belly Fitz and Exmoor Ranger. Then on the inside is Bench Warren, a couple of lengths to Dashing George. As they start to group up now, coming around the home turn in the Coral Welsh National. Belly Foy well out of it with Watamu Bay. Turning for home now, they've got five left to jump. Giles Cross is the leader from Mac 2. His big white face on the outside. He's looming large once again. I want Cloud 9, the faller there. Back in the field, Bench Warren hit it hard. Bench Warren's gone. I'm on Cloud Nine is running on well. Out deeper then is synchronised as they come to the last of the open ditches and he dived out at Giles Cross. He's about three in front now of Mac 2 and I'm on Cloud Nine. Followed by synchronised AP McCoy rousting him along now as they come up towards the third last in the Welsh National. Giles Cross jumps it in the lead. 
from synchronised is out after him McCoy. They're two or three lengths to one on Cloud Nine. Mac Two has run his race. They come to the second last. Synchronised on the outside loomed up. He's got up to put his nose in front of Giles Cross. Five lengths then to one on Cloud Nine. Bally Fitz and Mac Two. One left to jump at the Welsh National. He's charged at it, synchronised. He jumped it like a stag. He's two or three lengths clear and he's coming away. A great staying performance and a great ride by A.P. McCoy. He's going to put this national to bed as well. Up towards the line, synchronised has won the West National by about three lengths. In second is Giles Cross. Third in on Cloud Nine. Fourth is Belly Fitz. A gap to Mac Two and Wanamu Bay have finished almost together. Followed by Silver by Nature, Belly Foy, Dashing George. Further back then is Exmoor Ranger, Flight Leader, Magic Sky, and they are the only finishers. The winner at five to one is number three, synchronized, owned by JP McManus, trained by John Joe O'Neill, and ridden by that man again, AP McCoy, the 15 times champion. Second, number 13, Giles Tross, Harry Skelton. Third, number 12, I'm on cloud nine, Dougie Costello. And fourth is number 11, Belly Fitz, David England. That's the one, two, three, four.